go. against the policies of the club, right? Kind of. So you guys were doing it undercover or inside the club? Outside the club, outside. Then you got pregnant? Yeah. Did he want the baby? He wanted me. That means you and the baby, right? If he wanted the baby, at least he can stay with me. And I don't think like Right. If I'm pregnant, I have your baby. And I decided to walk up with you because I can't tell, deal with your emotions anymore. You still got a baby. Was he still messing? Was he messing with other women in the club? No, not messing with another girls. Probably does, but that's not the point. He, he, he was not a man. He was a kid. You didn't know that before you had sex with him? No. Why? Because we had sex one time and I got pregnant that time. I had one night stand and we kept it along and along and we decided to start dating and I see a whole other person on him and I think like that's not going to work. So I broke up with him. And he still wanted to get in touch with me. But you should not think just me. You should think, on, okay, on me, but in your baby. So that's I, what I think is my right. I think it's a little, it's, it's, it's weird to me mm -hmm. that you're having a relationship with the guy inside the club. And the plan was never to, okay, let's start a family, let's make money, let's get you out of this club so you can start working so we can do that. Even, you know, I know in the beginning it was probably just sex and sex, mm -hmm. but when you got pregnant, it was like, okay, hey, I don't want my kid to grow up like this. You no, know, as soon as I knew that I was pregnant, I stopped. Did he help you stop? Did he finance yeah. you? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Since I break up with him, that's over. And now, 14 years later, my son wants to know who her, his biological father is. Oh, so he doesn't he doesn't help you with the child? No. You get no child support? No. Well, where do you get child support from? I'm the child support. What do you mean you're the child support? If I don't fuck, <laughs> don't get paid, <laughs> no food on the table. Oh, that's it. I mean that paid. That's uh, 
That's real. So, because of that, let me bring up chapter number two. I will, you start working because I need it, but I was on my own. Now you have to work because you have kids. And I also had some regular jobs. When I get the regular jobs, I stop going to the club. Mm. So you lost the regular job. What are you going to do? Until you find another job. Keep on hustling. Keep on hustling. Mm, mm, mm. That's real. That's real. Okay. So you got a baby. Who's babysitting for you so you can go back and forth to the clubs? I have to pay for it. So you're paying for the babysitter. Yeah. And... So if a guy says, I want you for one week. I have to pay for the one week for the babysitter. So you keep that in your mind when you're negotiating the price for exactly. the one week. Exactly. I have to pay the babysitter and have to, some money to go back home from and like pay bills, rent, groceries. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so you have the baby, you're still working. Um, do you start making more money then or less after the baby? Because you have a baby, your body changes. Did your body change at all? Of course, sure. I was thin as a toot. I. You have pictures of how you used to look back then? I don't think I have pictures on that phone. But I was thin. I have a baby that's still thin, but in the second one, they're a little more fat. Did the money change? Yeah. Drastically or? Considerably. But nobody, no man wants to fuck of a chubby girl. Say so. the exceptions because some men like the, the big ones. Mm -hmm. But one of my guys just uh, he just left. He left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out to that guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Some men like real women. Other men like the ten one. What do you mean by what do you mean by real women? Natural body. Doesn't matter. It's a, a, a thick girl has a, a thicker or bigger girl has a natural body as well. Yeah. Some guys like the big ones with big thighs and a little bit of belly. Mm -hmm. They're okay. But the most of the guys that come to the club look, looks for the thin ones or baby doll face and stuff. And especially the white ones. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, people have their preference, you know, and things like that. Did you find yourself, like, when you, after the second child, so what year was your second child born? Mm, it was 25. 25. So you had your first baby at 20. 24 to 25, yeah. All right. You had your first baby at 20, and four or five years later, you have your second child. Yeah. Um, and business started to go down for you in these clubs. Yeah. Do you did you start to do whatever people ask you just to get money? No. You have to to, to stay firm with your with your standing. If you're not doing, you're not doing. Well, I mean, that's always been a weird thing for me, and and it's been a weird thing for me is because of this. And we've had this conversation. <clears throat> um, when a woman brings, uh, if uh, me and my friends, right? You know my friends, right? We're friends. Me and my girlfriend, say for instance, for example, you're my girlfriend. What is the difference between my relationship with you and my relationship with my friends. What's the difference? I think the trust. Or 
I have sex with you. Yeah, sure. That's the only difference. We still trust each other. I still tell you things. I tell my friends things. But not the same one. Sometimes. 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 Sometimes I tell you more things. Tell the you tell the girlfriend more things. But a best friend, like my best friend, they know everything about me. There's nobody that knows more than my best friends. My wife will know the same things that my best friend would. But the difference is, I have sex with her. So, <clears throat> when a woman, when a man is trying to meet a woman and to get into a relationship with her, I say, if she is sexually free, had sexual, a lot of sexual partners, then she has no value to me anymore. For mm -hmm. me, in a relationship, for me to make her my wife, for me to make her the mother of my child, she has no value to me. Because she's, you know, a <clears throat> women say that, women say that, I don't make this up, this is what women say. I'm not gonna just give this to anybody. You have to deserve it. A person that works in the world life of sex is anybody can get it if they have the the key. The key is money, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, you're working in this lifestyle, and I say that all that to say this: you're working in this lifestyle for money. The game is money. So. If you see that the business is changing for you personally, that's money changing in your family. Mm -hmm. A lot of women that see that money lowering and see their bills going up now will start to do things, will start to do things that they wouldn't do before. Their standards would start to become less, their rules will start to be broken. Um, um, some of them for you that did not no if I'm not making money I'm, I'm the hustle I'm going to clean the house I'm going to babysit I'm going to sell something I'm going to make my bed what I don't want to do is fuck with anybody without a comment that I don't know and for my life and the future of my kids on this there's a no there's a no I have a limit you used to have a limit. And if you that limit, you can put me on $10,000 or yeah, it's whatever. If I said no, no. And here's the thing. A lot of girls that do the kind of speak, the, the, the kind of things, they are thinking right now. I want to live tomorrow. I want to live one week, one month, one year, 10 years. I'm not thinking about tomorrow or right now. I want to raise my kid. I want to be a grandma. I want to, be a grandma. I want to walk my, my, my daughter all day out. See my, my son graduating or being a, a, a famous football player like he wants to. That's what I'm thinking. It's the condom brace. And you get something in that? I get on the prep because, thank God, here in Brazil we can go to a hospital and explain what happened, they get a prep. I already did. After? What after? After, so the condom breaks, then you go get, take prep. Yeah. And it saves you. And do it saves. Responsibility, you have to. I didn't, I wasn't, Financially responsible, but here and here, yeah. She pointed to her her arm. <clears throat> okay. Um. Did you ever have any accidents or have to take days off because you were physically unable to perform? Yeah. Let me explain what happened. I was on a period or I was tired, I was sore. Sore. Let's hear more about that. 
<laughs> Your face is changing well, when I'm you know, so sore. I'm trying to ask some journalistic questions and you laugh at that. Okay. <laughs> when you hear this sore, mm, let's talk about that. Well, I mean, these are hazards of this uh-huh. type of work, right? So you were sore. Um, Do you try to stop guys from being too rough when you're, yeah? Sure. But, I'm, for instance, I'm paying. This is an example, I'm paying. I can do what I want to do. No, you're paying to fuck, not to wrestle. I'm trying to clap some cheeks. You or can. To, or trying to tear up the box. Yeah, you can. And I say like, Let's take a breath real quick and we're gonna continue. That's okay. But don't ignore my ass like I stop a little bit because it's hurting. That position is hurting. Let's show it. You're still telling my fuck up. That's that's true. But Uh, if you wanna like fuck me and hit me with punch and grab my neck, try to choke me. We're just talking about the, the the sex part, none of the crazy stuff. That's yeah, part. because he was presenting the person. Okay, so that's your job. This is people that would say this. Mm-hmm. That's your job. You're yeah. supposed to be able to take what I give you. And I take it. And everything. No, nah, none of that. None of that. So go to X videos. You're about to go. Yes, I did. Any way that I want to. When you say that it hurts, I keep going. You get punched this is in the an face. Example. example. You get punched in the face. If I ask you once, you didn't hear me. Yeah. If I ask you twice, yeah. you didn't hear me. The third time, I'm gonna get out of the room and communicate to security what happened. If it's still there, you didn't hear me and keep hurting me, mm-hmm. punching my face like in the form of humiliation. Honestly, no, by me, you got not, punch. It's and not punch in your face. Just sex, like really hard sex. No, sex. Okay, we change the position for the. If, if it's hurting you, and I, I you. feel good in that position, okay. why do we have to switch? Because it's hurting you. That so. Can I stop a little bit? Or yeah. this is what I'm saying. You have some clients. Yeah, that that'll be like. I don't care about that. I'm paying to do what I want to do. This is your job. You should be ready for everything. I'm going to stop, I'm going to explain to him what's happening, and we're going to, I'm going to ask him if he wants to switch position mm-hmm. or take him a, like a five minute break to keep going. But there are some clients that use, that s- still talk, that still phrases to humiliate the girl. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm that, kind sure. of, that kind of guy. If I talk once, I talk twice. The third time, I'm gonna stop, explain the security what is going on, and I go back to the room for them let them know. I explain you I'm talking with him, but he didn't listen. If he still, after I talk with the security, he keep going and hurting me, in intentions for humiliating me, I'm gonna me myself. I'm not gonna talk anymore. You got a punch in the face. Some guys feel like they want to win, conquer, dominate the female sexually. Mm-hmm. Because that's a part of our masculinity to win, to control, to and we dominate, like right? And so part of that seeing the pain from sex, just from sex, not any hitting, nothing like that. Just the pain is... It's stimulating, I know. Stimulating, yes. I know. You know, most of the guys that do the kind of shit in terms from humiliation, they're Brazilian. Really? Yeah. So you don't like to deal with Brazilians? No. I deal with them, but I put them on my line. I work like this, 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 this want to that's okay if you don't want to I'm sorry I hope you find another girl mm. I have my limits I have my boundaries okay. even if it's my my work my job I know that 
Mm. But I had my the girl that allows everything. She can do everything with everybody, and I'm not like that. I I, I, wasn't I, the number one female. I think that's amazing that you said that, um, because again, like I said out there, some people don't think about it that way. That yeah, even though your job is this that you have boundaries and they yes. should be respected, right? Um, and, and, and I agree with that. I don't think that, look, you're providing a service. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that you're not a human. Exactly. Right? And so, that that's real. That's some real shit. Um, you know what I'm saying? So respect, respect these hookers. <laughs> respect the ladies. Respect the ladies. What? Okay, okay. You didn't like my. Oh, cuz. You didn't like that? It's just a, uh, it's just, it's just a funny thing. Okay. Alright. So. Child number two. You continue on. Business is slow. No. You like, stopped a little bit. When I got married. I stopped. Married, just you got into a relationship, not yes. married. By and right. I got into a relationship. Not the child number two. That was my worst relationship on um, life. You was you stopped working then. Yes. Okay. And did that person? Did you meet that person inside the club? Inside the club. And he wanted. He said, "Get up out of here. Yeah. I need that." And he's still working. I was cheating. You was cheating on him. He cheated on me. How do you know? Everybody told me. Ah, you were listening to the crowd. If you didn't see it with your own eyes. I already saw it. Okay, continue on. <laughs> <laughs> I already saw it. Okay. But I couldn't let go of him. It was the most abusive relationship that I ever had. Because I was stuck on him, and I don't know now. I see why, but at that time, I don't know why. Was it the sex? Not the, just that. I oh, I've been better. So I really liked him. I really loved him, and all the 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 the, the shit about the drugs because he wasn't at it. Everything I I thought that I was gonna save him. But was I, he a crackhead? Yeah. Crack oh, cocaine. Hold on. Jesus Christ. We got to hit. I got to hit. Hold up. You got a baby by a crackhead? Yes, I didn't know it. he was on crack. Damn. I didn't know. You couldn't see the signs? Like some no. of your furniture was missing? No. That's what it is. He didn't sell it, nothing from our house. Nothing. Not a TV. Instead, he bought TV, air conditioner, refrigerator, everything that I wanted in my house. Did I, you see the receipts? I was so troubled with him. Okay, all right, okay. Because sometimes they, you know, they no, no, steal no. from over here. Choose that. Okay. Choose whatever you want. He didn't sell anything from my house. And all that, there was no signs even that you was a crackhead. No, even the smell. But something about two years of relationship, he bring it to our home, sit on the toilet, mm -hmm. and start smoking it out. What's that? Oh, it's just a thing, like, for me to chill out. Mm. Mm. And... Two years after, it was through hell. Missing one month, doing cocaine, marijuana, mm -hmm. crack, mm -hmm. ecstasy, everything. Mm. So he likes the salads. He did salads means a mixture of everything. Yeah. Oh damn. And I was through hell, and I cannot complain because if I complain. I was beat up. I was beat up pregnant. Oh. After I get birth, 
then I decided to leave. It's like that emotional game. Don't leave me, I need you. Really. In the beginning of your relationship, was he abusive or he was abusive when you when the drugs became more of a problem? I know him smoke weed because in that time I don't smoke weed, but some, suddenly I'd say, I don't want to do this anymore. And then I stopped. As soon as I get pregnant of my daughter, it's getting worse and worse and worse. The cheatings, the beatings, the, the mentally abusing, emotionally, the blackmail. Well, if you leave me, I'm gonna die and stuff. Mm -hmm. And our family was neglecting that checkpoint. It's like, he's gonna do something, he's gonna kill himself. And I go back. Since about four years, I said, I'm done. Because if if I can't let go of this relationship, I'm going to be crazy. I'm going to kill myself. Did the kids see you get beat? Yeah. That's the reason I'm going to do that. Go back to the strip club because I need to get out and need a new house, buy a whole lot, lot of furniture, start all over again. So you left them? Yeah. Do you still communicate with him? Yes, I still communicate with him because I think everything that happens in our lives has a meaning. I raised my kids by myself, and now he raised two of other kids by himself. <laughs> so uh, uh, so he has other kids. Yeah. Okay. You <laughs> should stop right now. I need a cigarette. I'm sorry. Uh, I no, no, let's take a break. <laughs> let's take a break.